Elon Musk's SpaceX has made history, successfully completing the world's first commercial spacewalk. The four civilian astronauts on board the Polaris Dawn were exposed to the vacuum of space, but only two of the crewmates exited the capsule to complete the walk. To cheers for mission control, Jared Isaacman hauled himself from the relative safety of his capsule and emerged to stand in the void of space, 400 miles above planet Earth. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. The first spacewalk by a non-professional astronaut on a mission funded by the tech billionaire himself and just a thin experimental spacesuit between him and the certain death of a vacuum. Space is trying to kill you. You wouldn't, without the protection of a spacesuit or a vehicle, you know, survive very long at all in space. Spacewalks have been very much a part of the sort of state-run systems and spaceflight in terms of uh, Roscosmos, NASA, and ESA and stuff. So it's amazing to see a private individual, a private enterprise doing that. The hatch is open on Dragon. First view from a helmet cam. With the hatch open and no protective airlock, the entire spacecraft was exposed to the vacuum of space. Even those staying on board wore spacesuits to stay alive. Stand in the door and then step outside. Then it was the turn of Sarah Gillis, a SpaceX engineer. Really cool to see one of our own out there. That's awesome. This spacewalk was all about testing the suit. Elon Musk wants to send astronauts to build bases on the moon and Mars. They'll need comfort and flexibility. It looks very practical. And I think, as you say, it could be mass produced. If we're ever going to send a lot of people out into space, uh, in serious numbers, then we have to be able to build these things more quickly and at lower cost. For the crew of Polaris Dawn, this was a triumph. Only the commander has ever been to space before, and that was just once. Yet they pulled off a daring spacewalk, and they made it look easy. Thomas Moore, Sky News.